Gathi Gachagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, in opening, I would like to thank the Honorable Mutuse for the courage and valor in tabling and moving this motion. Honorable Speaker, in his address yesterday, the Deputy President called Parliament and this National Assembly a theater of the absurd, a house of ridicule, a house which processes trash. That's what he said about this Parliament. Honorable Speaker, just like the Deputy President, I'm a student of literature, having been taught by the late Wasamba Were and the late Professor Imbuga. In the definition, Honorable Speaker, of the theater of absurd, a theater of absurd is without plot, is directionless, is less with stupidity, lacks thoughts, lacks coherence of ideas, it is irrational and logical. If you have read the book by Samuel Beckett, the book by Samuel Beckett, you will know that in that book called Waiting for Godot, that he actually said, this parliament is as good as that literature. Honorable Speaker, I sit in this parliament and many of you do that. Members, are we a theater of absurd? No. Members, are we directionless? No. Members, are we stupid? No. That's what the deputy president characterized this parliament, that we are stupid, we are directionless, and we are people who are very useless to this country. Honorable Speaker, a person of the stature of a deputy president who can say such things about this chamber does not deserve to continue to become the deputy president of the republic. Honorable Speaker, what is the theater of absurd, Honorable Speaker, is when the deputy president demands that for, for the 8 million votes, for the 8 million votes from Mount Kenya, he should be paid 2,000 shillings, translating to 16 billion shillings so that he can bring peace to this country. Honorable Speaker, that is the theater of absurd. That is the theater of absurd, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Rigathi Gachagua has commented impeachable offenses as provided in Article 151 and 2. He has